Hi, in this video we will see how to use choose function and how to use switch function in Excel, what are the differences and how using one function can be better than the other. So let us start with the choose function. What it does, use choose function to select one of up to 254 values based on the index number. So in case of choose function we need to specify the index number and based on that index number it will return one of the various values that we specify so we can specify up to 254 values okay so let us go to the example in this example we have box numbers here in random order up to 5 starting from 1 and here we need to specify the category right so first we will use choose function to get the category from this table and then we will use switch function to get the categories right based on this box number so let us start with the choose function so here you can see that it is asking for index number based on this index number we will get either value 1 value 2 or so on right so in this case index number will be this box number and then value 1 will be if if it is 1 if the box number here is 1 it should display bags so value 1 will be bags here I can either type here or I can also select this cell and fix it using F4 function key. Let me show you how I can do that. F4 to put dollars in front of row and column number, right? So for now I'm going to type bags so that it is easy to understand. Right? And value 2 should be uh, stationary if the value of this cell is 2 here then it should display stationary and then value 3 should be uh, let me move it a bit value 3 should be keychains and value 4 should be baskets and finally we have homes home and we are done right so let me drag it down okay so for 2 we have stationary here for uh, 5 we have home so it is working fine right now let us see how switch works the switch function evaluates one value that is called the expression okay against a list of values and returns the result corresponding to the first matching value okay now in case of choose we need to specify index number but in case of switch we need to specify the expression okay so there is a difference between both these things let me show you now here we need to specify the expression in this case it will be box number again right but here in place of expression you can also specify string or decimal value as well right so this is one difference between choose and switch for choose you need to always specify a value a whole number in place of indexed value right okay now we need to specify value and result pairs value 1 result 1 okay so value if it is uh, box number 1 then it should display bags okay so here we have specified a pair which is value 1 and result 1 okay now again we will specify another pair for stationary and box number 2 okay if it is 2 if the value of b7 is true then it should display stationary again I can select these values these cells in place of writing 1 2 or bags and stationary but I am typing it here so that it is easy to understand now if the value is 3 then it should display uh, let me move it a bit again then it should display keychain keychains if it is 4 we should display baskets and finally if it is 5 it should display home okay and we are done let me drag it down and we are getting the same results right so you can see uh, the syntax here for choose and for switch switch is a bit lengthier than choose because we need to specify numbers here but in case of choose 
we are not specifying any numbers so it means that we need to specify these values in order for example if the value of b7 is 1 then it will display bags if the value of b7 is 2 it should it will display stationary and so on so it should be displayed in order it should be written in order right but in case of switch we can change the numbers we can change these places for example if I move it before 1 it will still work right so here this is the this is another difference you can change the order of values in case of switch now let us see what happens if I go out of this range if I specify anything other than 5 or more than 5 let's see what happens here in place of 3 let's say I typed 33 instead of 3 now both are displaying errors so let us see how we can fix these errors in case of choose because we have specified 5 options or 5 categories if it is 33 we need to specify 33 values but what are those values I just want to display invalid box if it is anything more than 5 okay so what I can do is I can use if error function here and then specify the default value or I will say uh, value if error if this value or this expression results into an error then what should be displayed or what should be done here here I want to display invalid box this message instead of error okay now let me copy it everywhere okay now let's say here I typed anything else uh, anything more than 5 then it will display invalid box it will not show any error okay so this is how we can handle it handle the errors in uh, case of choose function if if error function is not appearing for you then you can use is error function with if function now coming to switch how we can handle this error let me delete these values and I will show you something here when we need to specify second pair value and result pair it says default or value 2 okay starting from the second value it starts displaying default or value 2 now let me paste it again what it means that here I can specify either default value or sixth value and then the sixth result but now I want to display the default value because we have already specified all the possible box numbers okay so if uh, the box number is none of these then what to do then I want to display invalid box okay so this is how we can handle invalid values in case of switch we don't have to use if error function here this is the advantage of using switch function now the thing is that if you uh, use choose function it is available in Excel 2013 or later versions right and switch is available in Excel 2019 and later versions so if you are using the version that is earlier than Excel 2013 don't worry we have more options let me show you you can use if function or you can use index and match again if is available in Excel 2019 and later versions but yes here uh, let me show you one thing here it is displaying home for 33 which is wrong it shouldn't display home basically anything more than 5 will display home in this case right because this is uh, the kind of default value what we can do is we can use another if and check the value of b8 cell if b8 equals 5 then it should display home if it is not 5 then it should display invalid box right so it has automatically added another bracket at the end for additional if that we added and now you can see that it is successfully handling all the cases right if I type anything more than 5 it will display invalid box okay but I have to add another if function here to fix it now again in case of ifs we don't have any choice but to use if error function and uh, similarly in case of index and match we need to use if error function again okay so that's all for this video 
I hope you found it very useful. For more such videos, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks a lot for watching.